setting up a frame counter for your shot step by step. So here is my new moho. I'm going to file a new. I want to create a background so I can see what I'm doing just for illustrative purposes and not for the scene file. But I'm just on the layer one, on the vector layer that's already created, I am going to uh, click drag and create a new shape. I'm going to change the colour of this to a dark green. And we're going to pretend that's a beautiful background. I'm going to rename that layer background. Perfect. I'm going to control and J just to see my rendered area. I don't need to see the rest of the scene file for this. So for the frame counter, we're going to go to scripts, text and number sequence. This is going to give me a dialogue box. Um, it's set to 50 frames because that's what my scene file is set to. Oh, look at that. No, I do not want that green. Cancel. I'm going to change these to white. So it does create the new file in whatever color you've got selected in your style window. So that's really good to know and I've done it wrong a few times. It's really annoying. Um, you want to change that beforehand. You do not want to change the color after. So um, scripts, text, number sequence, 50 frames. Uh, I'm going to choose a real bold and click OK. So now we can see we've got a sequence of numbers running from 1 to 50 for our scene. And you can see in the layer panel there that it is basically a script that's created 50 layers and it is animating through the visibility of each layer. Um, it's, so it's really quite simple. I'm going to select all these layers though, shift select, because I do not want to hand that off to an animator. I'm going to click up here on the uh, plus button on the layer panel and choose group with selection. It's going to select, it's going to group all those layers together and I'm going to call this counter. Cool. I'm going to create a new vector layer and I'm going to call this frame because I want be able to see those numbers quite easily. I'm going to create a rectangle in this top corner. Uh, Q for select shape. I'm going to change the colour of this to black. And I'm going to make sure it's right in the corner there. Because I'm going to copy this into many, many shot files. I want this set up correctly the first time. So there's my frame, there's my counter. I'm just going to put the counter on top. Now you will see that I cannot see the counter currently. Um, I could set the visibility of one to on right now, but I am not going to mess with it. I'm going to show you what I will do instead. I'll go to frame one where the counter begins and I can see what I'm dealing with. And because I'm on a folder, I'm going to use the edit layer tool just to resize this and put it where I want it. So I think that'll probably be fine. Run through the timeline just to make sure that nothing gets cut off looks good and then I'm going to copy and paste this key that has been made on frame one to frame zero and that will place my counter where I want it. Um, I am going to change the opacity of the frame to 25% and I am going to group these with selection and call it frame counter. Good. Type good fingers Okay, and when we play through that, ta-da, we have a frame counter in our scene file. And obviously you can make that smaller, larger, put it, multi multiply, do whatever you need to, whatever suits the style of your project or your show. Um, but now you have that, you can copy paste that into any scene file and then just run the script again for the frame numbers. Uh, another cool thing that I will show you, um, if you right, uh, double click on this layer type and click don't render, so it will not render into the final file. Um, you might think, why is that handy? We can always have, um, when, we, when we run a preview, so when we um, file preview animation and this just um, creates like a low res copy of, of the Moho window, and plays your animation, it will still show up in that one and you probably want that one for check-in, like just multiple times for when you're having your animation, having it looked at and reviewed etc etc because they're a lot smaller. But this will not render now in the final render. You can tell 
because it's greyed out. If I double click on that again, unchecked don't render, okay, goes back to normal and that will show up on your final render but remember it will be a job then to remove that at the once the shot is approved. Cool. Okay, thanks very much guys. I hope that was helpful.